There are so many facets to Dad's life, it's really hard to cover it all. But we all have our own memories that stand out. A couple of things that come to mind. Dad was a born salesman and always tried to impress on you the point he was trying to make. I remember when we were kids at DY, tea time was always around this brown table with a glass top. None of this sit in front of TV stuff. I'm not sure we had one then. Anyway, Dad was trying to make a point and must have thought we weren't listening. So to gain our attention, he banged his hand down on the table and it shattered into a million pieces. That got our attention. To this day, I can still see the surprised look on Dad's face as a glass shattered. It certainly made an impression on me, but I've no idea what point he was trying to make. Computers. What is it about old people and computers? Dad had a fear that he would fill a computer up if he didn't remove useless files. So any he didn't recognise, he would delete. A lot of times this caused the computer to stop working and then the phone calls would start. And his catch cry would be, the bloody computer won't work. We eventually showed him how to use restore points, thank you Microsoft, that reversed his mistakes and Telstra's revenue dropped by about 90%. (laughs) Dad once said to me, it's a pity life doesn't have restore points. And then he thought a bit longer and he said, but wouldn't it be a boring life if we couldn't learn from our mistakes? A few weeks ago, I had a serious bike accident and while being rushed to hospital, Jan rang Dad to let him know. Even though he's almost totally bedridden, could hardly get out of bed for anything he wanted to do, Jan will never forget his words. If I can do anything at all, just let me know. That probably doesn't surprise most of you because Dad tried to help where he could. That was just Dad. I wonder if part of keeping his promise to Mum was his time of passing, the first hour in June. I know in the hearts of those who knew him, there will always be room for your Arthur, their grandpa, my dad.